What is up guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video and today we're going to be getting the K24 Swap Subaru Impreza ready for the dyno tune and hopefully get it finished so I can drive it casually on the road. For the first time in a long time, it is actually running and driving and pretty much complete. If we go to the interior, you will see that I put a lot of it back in there finally. As well as in the hatch, I got all my interior panels painted black. They were gray before, wasn't a big fan of it, um, and got everything finished up in the inside. And I finally made a full lap around my neighborhood, and it felt so amazing to have a full interior back in the car, had my radio playing some deft tones, cruising in the K-Swapped Impreza. It barely runs and drives, but it does it just enough to bring back all the nostalgia that I haven't had for almost two years. But without further ado, let's knock out some of these small, tedious things and get it ready for the dyno. I put my old straight pipe on it and it was way too loud to test and drive around the neighborhood. So I cut the muffler off the RSX and welded it on and boy, look at these welds. My exhaust is two and a half inch diameter and the RSX one is like an inch and something. So to weld them straight together didn't really work. And for the first time, I will show a close up of my welds. I had a lot of gaps to fill in, but I was desperate just to be able to drive this thing around the neighborhood without pissing off my neighbors. I just put it on for the hell of it, but I just got my vibrant, ultra quiet, two and a half inch diameter resonator that I'm going to put on. And look at how shiny and chrome and whatever this is. We gotta give it the uh, sound test as well, so. <laughs> sounds like it works to me. This one made it so quiet, so I'll go ahead and show you how it sounds real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and lop off this ugly stock RSX muffler and weld that vibrant one on. That is the gap I had to fill in with the weld. Look at that size difference, but. So I want it to poke out a little bit and it looks like that may not be the case. I'd like it to be like right here. We're gonna have to add like six inches or so to get it where I want it to be. So this was the piece that used to be welded on there that I then cut off to put the RSX one on there. Uh, so now I need a little bit extra length. So I'm going to weld this back on and cut it where I need to go. I was using this as welding practice like when I first got my welder. Uh, because I didn't think I'd put this on again, which is why there's all those little beads there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. All right, got it all welded on. Now to slap this on there, right around there or so. But let me start it up for y'all to hear it fully straight pipe. Yes, sir. So I got it barely tacked on there. I'm about to do the hanger, but I figured I'd go ahead and start it up real quick. That actually sounds pretty good just from those few revs. I'm gonna have to uh, take it on a test drive. All right, and I got like a little baby fart can. That's not supposed to be a fart can, but it is. Hell yeah, boy. And just in case you were wondering, this is the part number right there for the Vibrant Stainless Resonator. That is like the exact tone that I wanted, that deep kind of growl, but not too raspy, but just loud enough to hear it, but not so loud where you wish it was quieter. We interrupt this program to bring you the Wienermobile, boy. Look at that shit. Oh, brother. Not exactly <laughs> how I pictured my Saturday going, but look at this. 
So we just got back and uh, I got some good content coming up. I made a couple reels and whatnot to post about it, but Lena, they had a dice there and Lena rolled the dice and won a free pack of Oscar Mayer beef Franks, not wieners, they call them Franks. So that's pretty sick. As well as a little Oscar Mayer uh, whistle, I guess. What do you like? Right, enough of the tangent, we'll just get back to the video now. Another day, another shipment of parts, and today we have 5 by 114.3 to 5 by 100 wheel spacer adapters. That way I can take these ugly 350Z stocks off the back of my car and put my nice looking Audi Fat 5s back on the rear. I never thought I would be putting 5 by 114 to 5 by 100 spacer adapters on, but here we go. That was my newscaster voice. You guys like it? And just like that, we got matching wheels on the car again. Uh, I did have to raise it up like an inch and a half to get the 350Z wheels to fit, but isn't it wild how these clear the big brake? There is a decent amount of space in between the calipers as well, probably about half an inch or so. Oh, look, I even got a daddy long leg on the wheel. Daddy long leg on the wheel. And you saw those lug nuts are very hard to put on. Had to shove my finger in there. I had one inch spacers on this before, uh, but these poke out a little bit with the custom 350Z hub. So I do get a little bit of poke regardless. Uh, I'm gonna have to see how high it's gonna monster truck in the back once I lower it. But uh, this also has brand new tires on it because I put all new tires on my car right before it blew up. And th this one's not that bad. But this tire was wearing and the dyno guy said specifically to have good tires. So not only did I need this for the dyno, but I also needed this for aesthetics because I was not feeling this wheel. So now it's going to look even more complete. Unfortunately, my old lug nuts as well do not thread on. They're a different thread pitch, so I can't just swap these out either. <laughs> So she's pretty much all ready to be taken to the alignment shop now, um, but I am too scared to drive it there. But if you remember my taking my K-Swap Subaru Impreza to a Subaru meet, you would remember that I used this A-frame that I welded custom brackets for to tow my Subaru with the Odyssey to get there. And I still have, although I sold my minivan about a month and a half ago or so, RIP, and the only vehicle I own with a hitch is the Bahaza Blast. So we're going to be A-frame towing the K-swapped Impreza with the Impreza front end swap, Mountain Dew, Subaru, Bahaza Blast, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. So that's gonna lead to some interesting footage. So uh, let me go ahead and put this on. And just like that, boy, she is bolted on using the stock bumper support holes and everything. I already towed this over an hour uh, about a year ago to a Subaru meet, so I definitely know it'll hold up. It's just, can the Bahaza do it? If you want to talk about a neck breaker, 
just look at this. Impreza front end swab, Subaru Mountain Dew Baja Blast towing a K-swapped rear wheel drive glitter purple paint Subaru Impreza. Jesus Christ, brother. Definitely a very interesting Subaru flex, but here we are, boys. All right, so I'm gonna try to tow her around the block like I did in the Odyssey that one day where my wheel fell off. Man, whose dumbass tried to tow their car around the neighborhood and had their back wheel fall off? Man, what the fuck? Goddamn, K-Swap Subaru sitting in the middle of the street, though. Except I've been driving the Impreza, so I know it's good. All right, I have an alignment scheduled for tomorrow morning. There's a big car meet tonight that is local. For once, there is a car meet in the city that I live in, which is extremely rare. So I figured I'd test the setup out to go to this car meet, and then if it's ready, then I'll uh, tow it to the alignment shop. And if it isn't ready, then I'll try to figure out how to drive it there. But without further ado, I figured I would test her out. So let's do this. We out here, boy. I can finally see my underglow at night. I haven't taken this bitch out since it's been nighttime, but. Well, we made it back home in one piece. I wouldn't say I feel super comfortable doing this. Drastic times call for drastic measures. It is officially alignment day. Uh, last night went pretty smoothly. I do gotta go kinda slow going into corners. I came into a corner a little bit fast and the Impreza ended up pushing the back into the Baja a little bit. If I would've been going much faster, it could've jackknifed. I got it all backed up and a little life hack for you. If you have a truck bed, you can put the little cable there and it makes the camera face downwards towards the hitch. So that way you can easily line them up just like that. There's the big old brake check sign. We on the feeder. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, I'm swerving. Oh, I'm swerving. All righty, successfully made it to the brake check. Hell yeah, brother. So these were my before measurements that I did using the string method and as you can see I did get pretty close I was a little bit off on the toe and uh, I got some camber and they were able to fix it a little bit in the rear with my camber bolts I'm going to need rear camber top coilover uh, adapter whatever you call it things to really uh, dial in my camber but as you can see we're mostly in the green now everything red is camber only she should be all nice and straight for the dino tune all right well my dino appointment is officially tomorrow morning friday the 19th my birthday is tuesday the 22nd and i am so glad i am getting this thing dino tuned right before my birthday i didn't really rush it per se but i kind of did it quicker than i anticipated and boy i went through some trouble that last video of me getting a line was about four or five days ago and everything decided to break on the Baja at the same exact time and I somehow got it fixed just enough to where I feel comfortable towing the K-swapped Impreza there. I had my axle seize up, so I had to replace my axle, and it still clicks. The brand new axle I put in is clicking and making noise. Not sure why. My rear brake lines decided to rust out and completely blow out. I had to custom make my own brake lines to fix that. I still have some air in the lines, but I just have to pump the brakes a little bit. I tried bleeding it as much as I could. And then yesterday, it decided to jump timing 
training, I had cylinder one and cylinder three both misfiring for some reason. I had no power. I was sketched out. I paid my deposit for my dyno time, but luckily I was able to tear the front of the EJ251 apart and redo the timing and now everything is ready and set. My shop is a mess. My anxiety has been at an all time high. I'm having issues at work as well, but luckily tomorrow morning we are all good. So let me clean up my shop, stop yabbering, and hopefully tomorrow works out perfectly for us after all this time. And not to mention Lena's AC compressor went out so I swapped that out for her and tried to refill it and it's not exactly working at this time but that's just something else to add on to the top but luckily the case swapped impreza is doing just fine all righty well we are officially loaded up i got a bunch of tools even though it's only like a 40 minute drive or so but first thing in the morning we're gonna have some morning traffic because we got to get on the highways and whatnot to get there but let's hope my bad luck is done i don't have to worry about anything breaking anymore mainly on the baja so fingers crossed that we can get to the dyno get a successful dyno tune put down some good power numbers and drive it all back with no issues so stay tuned boys let's get started all righty we are currently on the highway it definitely feels very sketchy um at speed it sways a little bit in the back uh, so we're gonna have to be going slow. I'm already pissing people off going under the speed limit, but we gotta do what we gotta do. ASAA Racing, boy. We pulling up, motherfucker. And we have arrived some fucking half. Okay, so I got the K-Swapped Impreza dropped off. Lena just arrived at the airport, so I gotta leave and go pick her up, although they were still setting up shop, so I don't think they're gonna be doing anything while I am not there for the next hour or so to go pick her up. But anyways, let's pick up Lena. Here she comes to get in a Baja. Well, my axle blew out again, and my wheel is very hard to rotate i'm picking up some high temp grease i don't know why the brand new axle went out already but i'm not even back to the shop yet might as well towing it home so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do about this situation now all right the axle just completely blew out in the o'reilly's parking lot i am 50 minutes away from my house 40 minutes away from the shop that the Impreza is currently at right now. I just picked her up from the airport. So uh, I called a friend. He's going to see if he can get a U-Haul trailer, if this bitch will even fit on it. Uh, that's a whole story in itself. But uh, today's not going how I planned it on going. But at least it's at the dyno. Here comes our rescue. That boy Tyler coming to save the day. Tow me home. God, I hope it fits. That trailer looks small, bro. Yes, yeah, sir, we made it up. Jesus Christ. I did not think it'd be big enough to fit on here, but God damn it, boy. All right, well, we officially made it back. Now time to unload it. I got the Impreza fixed, but now I gotta fix the Baja some more. Cause this is the current state of the wheel bearing. So Lena's car would be perfect to take if it wasn't for the AC not working. Look at how big this truck is, Jesus. We had a little baby MR2 in this massive dually. We made it back in Lena's car with no AC. Here she is on the fucking dyno. Ran out of fuel pressure, so I had to walk to the gas station, but we got her all topped up. So let's see. Yeah. Hell yeah. Finally getting started on it. Thank God. VTC and 
VTS sensors are both not working properly. it is the next morning now it got too late for them to actually put it on the dyno it was like 550 in that last clip they closed at six they stayed a little bit after to get all the small imperfections uh, figured out before they actually put it on the rollers to get it dynoed so if you see here I borrowed my friend's plumber truck uh, it's empty in the service bed but it's the only vehicle I could get my hands on that has a hitch my dad has a Tahoe but he has the police package so there's no hitch on it none of my other friends have an available truck to let me use so this was my only option as far as getting the Subaru home since I'm bringing this I'm most likely towing it home I thought about possibly driving it back that's not that's probably not going to happen anyways but morale yesterday was very low started off good with the Baja getting me there but then on the way back from the airport and that happening and then Lena's car having no AC driving back up into Houston in 98 degree weather sweating our asses off waiting there all day having issue after issue so let's hope today goes way better and doesn't take all day and we can actually see some numbers be put down but this is my rig for the day, a GMC 2500 brand new interior. This thing is fucking mint, but it's really hard to see out the back and this bed covers up the whole rear so I can't see very well. So hopefully my first drive is decent in this thing. Lena's gonna be working on her bedazzled mirrors while I'm sitting there getting it tuned, but we are on the way, we're already an hour late, so hopefully we're not missing all the dyno runs. finished up at the dyno now I put the a-frame back on but there is no room to turn around and I have to hook it up to his plumbing-esque truck so I'm gonna have to back this out back the truck out and go in that parking lot across the street and then we can tow her home and just like that we all hooked up shout out to Sam for letting me borrow his truck and leaving ASAA racing with a successfully dynoed car, I'm so glad they were able to get it all figured out. So let's go home so I can take y'all around the block on a test rip. And just like that, we made it back. No god dang issues at all, brother. All right, time for the first test drive. Let's see how this shit goes.
So the Impreza now has insurance on it for the first time in a really long time, so I can technically drive it around. And since this is the most legal car I own that runs and drives now since the Baja decided to mess up on me, I'm gonna go ahead and steal the headlights off the Baja that I stole off the Impreza to put them back on the Impreza. That way I can drive at night and start driving this thing around and seeing if it's actually capable of being daily driven. The other thing is my dipstick keeps popping out due to all the extra blow by so I'm gonna have to uh, put a little wire in and get that little thing from K-Tune so it stops popping out. And now she's technically legal. That is my electric power steering pump making noise, but she looks like how she did uh, several years ago when I decided to take all my front end panels off before, uh, except this time she's a little bit cooler. And I can take this off because she no longer needs to be towed, boy, because she is running and driving now brother well for the first time i'm going to actually take this to a destination first stop the gas station since i didn't do my siphon correctly i'm only using half of my gas tank so i need to make sure i keep that filled up until i fix that and then can actually put a fuel gauge in because right now i have no gauges at all so i can't tell anything but we're gonna go out to eat go get some food and grub and see this thing park in a parking lot that isn't my driveway First fill up, brother. to the ramen shop look at her part and just like that guys i think it's pretty safe to say that she is fully complete k swapped rear wheel drive everything but i have so many small tedious things to do now pretty much everything that connects me to this car needs improvement my rack and pinion is loose so my steering wheel has some play in it my clutch catches way at the bottom so i have like an on off switch right at the very end of it my brakes are really stiff i need to upgrade my master cylinder there is a major vibration as y'all heard in that video but other than that, I can now start working on all the small stuff. All the big stuff is fully complete, and I am so happy. But without further ado, guys, I am so sorry. I know this video is probably going to be a dumpster fire with everything going wrong at the same time. But hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, follow my Instagram, TikTok, everything under that username right there. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and motherfucking peace.